Right, so I didn't really know how to start this video after screwing up the intro no less than three times, so um, I guess I'll just keep it simple to every single person who've been watching the videos I've been putting out, to all those of you who hit the like button, to those who subscribe, to those who agreed, and even those of you who disagreed with some of the discussion topics I raised. I want to take a few moments to pause, chill, and give each and every one of you the biggest, biggest of thank yous. Two days ago, as you can see, we managed to go past the big 2000 and I'm just so overwhelmed and grateful for the support and the kind words and also the way you guys have taken part in those debates when you really didn't have to. I was and still am a very, very tiny little YouTuber who's used to getting a couple of hundred views at most. So to see you guys embracing my opinions, agreeing and disagreeing, but most importantly, engaging has just, ah oh man, I'm trying not to make this all soppy, but it's left me feeling hugely humbled, I guess. Now, I've tried my absolute best to respond to as many comments as I can, but I had no idea things would take off like this. Now, I'm not gonna go over the top, but I just wanna give you a little bit of a tiny insight. So, my name's Bourne, Bourne15. Um, well, actually, no, my real name is actually Jameson, and quite simply, I love cars. I started my channel towards the back end of 2015 when Need for Speed 2015 came out, and the people who inspired me to actually get into YouTube and have a go at this myself, well, there was a few, but mainly Expert Thief who plays GTA 5, uh, Theo, Black Panther, uh, Slap Train, Drift Panda, Straight Up Hippo, GTA Wise Guy, Boosted. I mean, there's too many to mention. There's a lot of lot of names there, but um, yeah, it was watching their videos that gave me the impetus to have a crack at this myself. Now, I work a full-time job, so I have very little time to make videos. And as a lot of you guys know, it's hard to do well at YouTube if you don't have the time you need to create and edit your videos. So my growth has been very slow, much slower than I had hoped. And earlier this year, I was very sick to the point that I was in hospital various times and I had what appeared to be swelling on the right side of my brain and also lost a family member, unfortunately. So I was off work for more than two months and was too sick to make any content. When I came back to YouTube, it was a case of out of sight, out of mind. My videos were not doing too well and that coupled with a tough first year and a half, I almost gave it all up. Eventually, I was fit to go back to work and to be honest, on my first day back, it reminded me of how badly I just didn't want to be there. And so I just decided it's time to go hard or go home on my channel. So I said to myself, you know what? I can't just do let's plays and expect that to work. I mean, why on earth would you guys bother watching little old me play the same game that you can watch the bigger YouTubers play? So I decided to create the Auto Ball Magazine, which is an online YouTube based show where I do head to head showdowns on the Mazda Laguna Seca track between two rival cars to see who comes out on top. And also the car reviews where I bring to life some of the most interesting cars on the market today as well as the past greats with thorough reviews, power tests and opinions on the cars in question. But I didn't stop there. You see, unfortunately, my Elgato capture card broke a few months ago and I haven't replaced it yet. And as many of you guys know, it's pretty difficult to continue making videos without a capturing card. So to combat this, I decided to use all of the available stock footage I could find covering all of the newly announced racing games and use them as a basis to create the series known as the Born Opinion, asking the difficult questions that some people shy away from and basically going against the grain and having an opinion rather than just sitting on the fence, calling good when I see good and questioning things that I don't agree with but crucially offering constructive solutions rather than just complaining and whining and also encouraging you guys to share your thoughts and provide a platform for everyone to sit in in a sort of online room for a debate. And I've been blown away by the response. So to continue connecting with you guys, I just wanna do a few shout outs in relation to the last video, which was the question I put out, car list versus track list asking what you guys valued as more important. Right, starting things off with Bethany Thompson, who says, new subscriber here, love the subject of this video. I had this exact conversation with a friend of mine years ago. I prefer to have more tracks than cars. 
While it's fun to tune up a new car, I find it more rewarding to learn the racing line around a new track. Thank you so much for um, your contribution, Bethany. And to be quite honest, you know, as I said in the video, I couldn't agree more. It is definitely, you know, the idea of getting to learn and understand and educate myself on new tracks that um, drives me towards that decision myself. Excuse the pun, drives me. So thank you. Okay, uh, next up we have Boomy78 who says I prefer balance of balance or more cars in fact may have a lot of cars and a custom track maker now that my friends that is a jewel in a crown moment I would absolutely love the idea of a custom track maker we've seen what the modding community well not even the modding community but more so the design community can do in things like need for speed when it comes to custom wraps and things like that using the editor I'm pretty certain that there are some ingenious folk there that are probably watching this video that have a good idea of track design and having a track maker inside the game itself whereby you can share those creations with the community will expand the longevity of any racing game to be quite honest so great idea man once again thank you for watching and thank you for contributing next up we've got I discretion who says once I unlock my favorite vehicles of all time the Toyota Supra and the Pagani, uh, Pagani Zonda in any racing game I unfairly turn a blind eye to the other vehicles I've unlocked regardless of the amount that being said I would rather drive my two favorite across a wide array of tracks than to have a multitude of vehicles at my access but only a handful of tracks to race on so again a man there who or maybe even a lady I'm not sure but a person I should say who obviously is more track focused but again I'm the same I'm guilty of just unlocking my favorite cars and then yeah so good stuff good stuff good stuff uh, but it's not all about tracks we've got I don't know if I've pronounced this correctly is it Shui Shizui85 I'm so sorry if I've just butchered your name please forgive me um, more cars over more tracks any day so I choose Forza 7 instead ha 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 <laughs> I think that's how I should be pronouncing it but no again you know fair play to you obviously if cars are what you like and cars are more are what you're more attracted to than tracks then by all means there is nothing wrong with that Forza Motorsport 7 is by far the game for you son definitely uh, we've got David Haggart who says for me it's project cars 2 I don't need 700 cars quite simple quite straight to the point lovely thank you and last but not least we've got probably my favorite comment of the lot if you ask me I don't care what people say about these games the content the game has all the cars that it has and how many tracks they have because I'm getting them all <laughs> Harrison say is it say Satan Satian Harrison Satian probably the best answer of the day do you know what why not if you got the money and you got the time to play the games just go just give them your money give them, hashtag take my money I think is um his philosophy there but no brilliant good stuff good stuff really enjoyed reading those right and I just want to touch on a few miscellaneous uh, comments I've been getting recently and um, yeah so first off we got this one from William Powell this sounds strange but firstly great vid secondly your vocabulary is amazing to listen to <laughs> cheers William thanks man really appreciate that um, I actually responded to that in the actual comment section and I told him the reason why I may use certain words from time to time is because when I was young whenever I was rude or cheeky or disrespectful whenever my mum was talking to me she'll beat my ass black and blue and then she'll put a dictionary in my hand as punishment and make me read the dictionary so it's that I stopped using rude words so yeah I guess you, I've got my mum to thank for that so old type mum shouts, shouts out to the mum uh, now we got this one from a guy called Super Earther so yo born i want to challenge your racing skills reply if you're man enough yo listen listen to me yeah i'm not man enough <laughs> now honestly um i am an average gamer at best as you guys may have seen in a lot of my um gameplay videos like the need for speed underground 2 playthrough that i've been doing and as you're gonna see when i do my playthrough of project cars 2 uh, payback the crew to etc i'm average at best um i'm just someone who loves games and loves cars but you know what we'll get it on we'll get it on don't worry um i will in fact holler at me on twitter find my twitter link in the description box message me 
and uh, we'll try and hook something up now it's not going to be any time in the next one or two weeks or anything like that it's going to be later on down the line because i've got so much that i've got to get done but we will definitely hook up and shout out to the guy who also asked me to come and jump into his drifting gang i think it was or drift with him and his team or something like that i'm rubbish at drifting but you know what i'll give it a go so i can't remember who what his name was man if you're listening same applies to you hit me up on twitter and uh we'll try and sort something out uh we got this message here from islam that's a proper black man voice <laughs> Cheers, man. <laughs> Just thanks, man. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that, man. I'll tight you. Um, at, in fact, you know what? It's not always good comments I get about my voice. Someone said I sound like Kermit the Frog. Hold tight you. Shouts out to you. Um, and someone else said I sound like Junior from the Cleveland show, which I was actually drinking a drink when, when reading that and I, it came out of my nose. I was laughing so hard. But no, you guys are funny, man. Honestly, you guys are cool. And in the last comment, which for me is the best comment that I've had ever. Newsflash douchebags subbed. Hayden Keen, take a bow, son. Drinks are on me. <laughs> Lovely, brilliant. Right, let's move on. Right, so I want to move on now and talk a little bit about the future. So my vision for the channel is to create a central hub for all things car related. So yes, there will definitely be more opinion based and let's plays across the various titles, but I also have plans in 2018 to go to different car shows and do some vlogs so I can share some experiences with you guys. I kind of see this as a motoring magazine more so than just a gaming channel. Don't get me wrong, do not get me wrong. I want to make it absolutely clear, gaming will be a huge part and will always be a large chunk and at the forefront of what I do. But I always wanted to be a Top Gear presenter. And I think you guys have seen that with the Auto Ball magazine idea I've created with the way I present it. The car show vlogs will help me realize that dream whilst giving you guys refreshing content to look at. So I'm looking to go to as many events as possible, including Jap Fest to get some real JDM footage as I just love Japanese cars. I'm also going to the Goodwood Festival of Speed, which will be a great opportunity to see some real life professional racing drivers take cars around the track from all eras, both old and new. Um, I'm also gonna be heading over to Scotland to check out the Ignition Festival, a chance to get some footage of drift events for you sideways monkeys along with stunt cars, rally cars, classic F1 and modern supercars. And who knows, I might even meet Drift Panda out there. Now every penny I'm making goes straight back into the channel guys and will be used for travel to those events as well as getting a better camera than the one that I've got because it's just, it's just not in a good state at the moment, my own fault. Now if you really want to help this project grow and you like what I do, you can support via my Patreon page. There is absolutely no pressure guys, no pressure whatsoever. Do it because you want to, not because I've told you. If you do, then let me know either on there or via my Twitter or Gmail account, which is all in the description box below. Now lastly, to further show my gratitude, I'm going to be doing a giveaway on one of the racing titles coming out this year. But rather than having me decide, I want you guys to let me know in the comment section which game you want to be the one that's up for grabs. And the one with the most votes will be the one offered as the main prize. And uh, aside from that, that's pretty much it. So thank you so much again for getting me this far, guys. I hope this is the beginning of, uh, you know, something good. I will continue to try and bring out as many videos as I can. Now, if I do switch to Let's Plays for a little while, that doesn't mean that I've stopped the opinion videos. It just means that I just need to go back, reset my brain and brainstorm a whole load of new ideas because I am running out of ideas at the moment. Um, actually, ah, that's a, ah, there's a point. If you guys have got anything that you want me to raise as part of a discussion, then drop it down below in that comment section. You know, if you've got any things that annoy you about any any of the racing games, if you've got anything that you're concerned about, or if it's just praising, then let me know and I can elaborate on it in a video. But uh, no, you guys have been great. Thank you so much. If it's your first time around here, I wish you a born welcome. Thank you for hitting the like button. Thank you for hitting the subscribe button. Don't forget to turn your notifications on so that you know when the next video comes out and I'll see you when we get to 5,000. Peace.